Hello, and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Today, I'll be going over this week's problem of the week. For, more pro for the solution transcript, there will be a link in the description of this video. Today, I'll be going over a relation with the Fibonacci numbers, uh, which is if you sum the squares of the Fibonacci number, Fibonacci numbers up to um, n, this is equal to the product of the nth Fibonacci number in the n plus 1th Fibonacci number. Um, and there is a proof by induction for this, which is in the description of this video. Uh, but I thought I would do a geometric proof, which is more fun to watch. So we're going to start summing uh, the Fibonacci numbers, which is 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. And so um, geometrically, when you square a number, you get a square. And so, starting off, we have one square. And then the next number is one. So we'll just put another one on top of this. And then the next is two squared. And what we can do is we can put it right here. Get two squared. And there's three squared. We can put it right on top. And then we'll just do one more, which is five squared. And you'll see that these squares fit together quite nicely. Uh, and so let's start writing down what this is. So the area of this square right here is the squared of the Fibonacci numbers. So we have the area up to the nth Fibonacci number is just um, this right here, the left hand side. Uh, and what we can also do is find the area by just calculating it through the rectangle area formula. And this is, let's see, we went up to the nth Fibonacci number. And so the length of this is the nth Fibonacci number, which in this case is 5. So we also have, and the, this top part right here is the nth Fibonacci number plus the n minus 1th Fibonacci number. Uh, based on the defining property of the Fibonacci numbers, we have the next Fibonacci number is equal to the sum of the last two. We can simplify this part right here and write it as the product of the nth Fibonacci number and the n plus 1th Fibonacci number. And so we've shown that these two areas are the same and therefore these two formulas are the same, which is why these squares fit so nicely together based on the defining property of the Fibonacci numbers. And so that's just a really cool proof on this particular identity of the Fibonacci numbers. And that is this week's problem of the week. To see more problems like this, you can click right here to see our playlist. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can click right here. To visit the centerofmath.org, you can click right there. And if you're on a mobile device, there is an I in the top right-hand corner of the screen with all of the same links. Thank you very much.